All right. We are in search of what, what was the name again? Mystic Carrion. Find out what Oscar did exactly. Let's see if we can't get rid of these. This haunting. For that purpose, we need to come here. Let's see. There's an entrance to the building. Looks like there might be a hidden door there. But is there a legitimate door anywhere? There's that hole still. Right, this is where I found that very treasure. This looks like a door to me. Otherwise, this is a strange building. A distinct whiff of undeath to this place. Oh, hey, yeah. Though, curious. I can't say I've ever noticed the same about <laughs> you, Astarian. <laughs> no. Yeah. I, my whiff is oh. very faint, thank mm. you. Nothing a little bergamot, rosemary, any hint of aged brandy can't hide. Mm. It's the perfect olfactory disguise for a corpse. Nice. Honestly, I miss my calling as a perfumer. I clearly thought this through a great deal. <laughs> impressed and appalled in equal measure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, didn't really think about it, but yeah, he is undead. Um, I'm surprised you don't accidentally turn him. Well, I guess he is a high enough level that it's unlikely, but let's see. I think we'll need to be careful here. Can't let anyone see us do this. Softer than a whisper. Everyone sneak. I'm just waiting. With pleasure. Uh, add a bonus, why not? Actually, since you can only roll a minimum of 10. That was really necessary. Oh, more here. Preserve life. We're out of short rests, so. I can be subtle sometimes. Gotta be careful. Oh. These boots have seen everything. I don't know why I was expecting us to go into another map, but yeah. We have different portraits here of a bored girl playing music. Of a ruffled noblewoman. Poet and Dale's review. Portrait of a noble before his death. Is that a half orc? Staunch tiefling before work. And a young boy in the plate armor. Hmm. So should we head up or to the basement? Oh, there's the Mystic Carrion. And, uh... Are you a ghoul? A ghast. Okay. Olnar. Oh, you're undead you yourself, are aren't you? Oh, no. The Mummy Lord. Damn, you got Legendary Resistance, Unbeating Heart. So your life force is stored outside. You have a phylactery. Damn. Okay. Curdle Liver. Not vulnerable to fire damage while his liver is intact. Thought the sprain. Supposed to have a plus three bonus to their difficulty class and can't be surprised while his brain is intact. Breathless lungs. Can't be silenced while his lungs are intact. Okay. In other words, if you're going to fight him, destroy these first. Disadvantage on saving throws against your necromancy spells. Yikes. Life Essence Harvest. Kills a hostile creature with a spell. They greedily absorb its energy and gain life essence until their next long rest. Multi-attack against frightened targets. 
permanently armed and turn resistance, of course. Spirits, I have need of you. Let's investigate the rest of his house first. If you'd be so willing. Try again. I have enough thieves tools. Damn it. Maybe I should just switch to a starion. There we go. Oh. Okay, maybe we'll. Maybe we'll talk to him first. Try things the nice way. We we came here for information, right? Let's save first, though. I have need of you. Probably for the best that a starian you is first. Do not have an appointment. Yet you seek an audience with Mr. Garion. I do. Ah, yes. You were drawn to me. Hmm. A wanderer bearing the scent of oh. death. You are familiar with the necromancy of Fae. Oh, shit. I have heard the spirits whisper its name. Few books have the power to send a shiver through the living and the dead. Tell not me, what I was. What did you make of its contents? Not what I was here about. But absolutely fascinating. You're familiar with the subject matter. Such a book is for those who make only the shallowest ripples in death's dark pools. I inhabit the depths. <laughs> I suppose that's true. Clearly, these are not waters you know how to swim in. I would hate to be the one who helps you drown. Perhaps mm. one day the book will reveal its secrets to you. Until then, they're best left between its covers. Unless you have any He's other business not wrong. with me, I suggest you return to the domain of the living. Uh, we actually do. We came to discuss... Well, actually, do you have anything to trade? I always have items of interest to those of a curious disposition. Let's see. Supreme healing's always nice. Invisibility potions are always nice. Oh, wait. Hood of the Weave. Again, a plus two to spell save DC and spell attack rolls. So... If I'm reading that right, it increases your spell save DC and your spell attack roll by two. Not rolls made against you. Armor, which in which case I definitely want that, which means it is absolutely worth, I think, raising his attitude. Spore Keeper. See, the wearer gains a plus one to spell safety C and I'm dealing necrotic damage. Um, I'm going to say no. Veil of the Morning. Undead have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. And you have advantage on saving throws against their actions and spells. Why would you sell something that is so useful against you personally? Seems foolish. Though, I actually don't think I care enough to bother. I mean, a star gets a decent enough discount on the zone. It would, if I was to... I would have to go through the effort of resetting my level and... Thank you very much. My pleasure. Let's try talking to you with Gale. He has read the Necromancy of Thay Tome. Again, you disturb me. My client list is full, and you are not on it. Yes, but... 
and offer my own services, if you need of anything now. Uh, let me actually do this with the star. Someone there. Just be quick. Again, you. My client list is full, and you are not on it. I know you helped Oscar. I found your letter. The painter. Yes. I remember. He wanted to contact a tormented spirit. Oh. I gave him exactly what he desired. And for a pittance. Given the complexity of his request. Huh. His inability to follow simple oh, instructions. No. What did he do? It's hardly my fault. If he wanted his safety guaranteed, that would have cost him extra. And we both know he's a cheap son of a bitch. Who was he trying to contact? My clients are guaranteed absolute privacy in their consultations uh -oh. with myself and my spirits. You know, for a greater mummy lord, you, you came are. To me seeking an exorcism. You're not. You know, you... I can provide you with the means to perform such a ceremony. But you understand, this is my livelihood. First, you must do something for me. I was gonna say, you, for a powerful mummy lord, you are very, what's the word? I know, professional. You definitely don't feel evil, or if you are, it's definitely a lawful variety. I mean, you're undead, so Paladin would kill you on sight, but kind of service. Do not worry. It is of an earthly nature. It regards a conduit of mine, oh. Thrombo, who has recently deserted his duties. Okay. He has not gone far, but given the sensitivity of his nature, I would prefer that he is not free to roam the city. Return Thrombo's body to me. Then I will give you what you need to cleanse Oscar of his spectral interloper. Damn it, Oscar, you are throwing me on a... for a loop. You better be able to pay up, I swear. Um, I'll just pay the goal. <laughs> Very well, I'll bring you Thrombo. Baldur's Gate, Gate's a big city. Not much, uh, name's not much to go on. Had I thought you were the type to shout his name from the rooftops, I would never have offered you the job. Well, no, it's Thrombo not my plan. Is not alone in his ingratitude. He has led others in my service astray. Three of them. Oh! Beggars and zombies alike. Oh, I think I know the one of them. Lack even Thrombo's modicum of intelligence. It should be no great task. I was wondering why a uh, random undead was Thrombo wandering around the city, allowing people to stab him. Yeah. Okay. I have. A, I have a lead. Very well. I'll bring you Thrombo. You agree to free Oscar. Then. With the spirits here in our witnesses, the arrangement is made. They will follow your progress with great interest. As will I. Of course, of course. Yeah, I have to respect the mummy lord that offers a valuable service. I have need of you. Giving people a conduit into the realm of the uh, of undeath. Or just the death. He's not, you know, going around actively killing people. I don't see a reason we have to kill him. It's not like we need the experience. I don't think Prana feels a desperate need to kill every undead she sees. All right. Well, let's go to where I know there is at least one undead. There is strange beggar lumbar. I need a quick word. Changed your mind? Offer's still there. Go on. Have a swing. 
You recall where you've smelled this beggar's rotten musk before? Yeah. In Mystic Carrion's chambers. This is one of his runaway servants. Hey there. You ran away from Mystic Carrion to do this? Carrion sent you. Shit. Don't Hold on. think about trying anything. I'll fight back. I'll kick your ass if you do. Tell me where Thrombo is. It'll be like we never met. <laughs> well, let's just... Either you tell me where Thrombo is, or I drive my fist through your skull. Uh, maybe. No. We have three. Our chances are eh, close to 50-50. Actually, a little worse. I'll give it one more roll. Ugh. Well, one more time. That's bad luck. That's equally bad luck, pretty much. Do I dare waste my final inspiration on this? No. No chance. I'm not telling you a thing. Damn it. Starring, you think you can back. convince him? Come to have a go. Give it your best shot. An air of decay hangs over the stupid yes. goal first. Then you um, can me. I'm looking for Thrumbo. Mr. Carrion wants his home. Carrion sent you. Good thing you don't realize. Don't think about trying anything. I'll fight back. I think he doesn't realize you're one of my friends. Relax. Boss just wanted to give you and Thrombo a proper send off. Do you need anything? Hit. Hell yeah. He did. I suppose. I mean, really? No, but he Thrombo keep living it. To get us a boat, but I haven't heard from him since. A he boat, must be you say? Somewhere near the water. I just hope he didn't drown. <laughs> Can an undead drown? Still oh, he's going off. Everything. Oh no, he's just going back and forth. What path lies before me? Okay. Near the water, get a boat. I mean, either down here, or I feel like more likely over here. We'll try the fisherman's wharf first. Oh, that's actually really close to. <laughs> where they ran away from. Almost certainly not here. Alright. Um, Starian, you want to do the talking? You are kin, kind of. I mean, you're both undead. Gee, there's that doors. All refugees. Hmm. Not seeing any sign. The Rumbo. Maybe on the other side. Maybe. Let's check up here first. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, no. Here you are, Gale. What does it actually look like? Oh, that's good, actually. I like it. You can keep the hood on. Actually, I wonder if he's in this, the blushing mermaid looking for a sailor. Did I see any... Any, um... Undead when I was there? I feel like I might have. I, I think I have seen another undead somewhere. that about auto save I mean there's a oh, drawbridge I guess that's for the upper city also a railroad and let's not trigger whatever happens over there Ooh, is that the... the steel watch foundry? Must be this building. Yeah. I'm actually surprised it doesn't have steel watch just all over the place guarding it. Penny the goon. A bunch of ruffians. A knob, a knobster. What is this all about? Wait, I can't feel my... Wait, is that? Volvo! What happened to you? Why did you run away? I'll help you in a minute, but... area yeah I'm not seeing any undead must be the blushing mermaid unless I'm blind hey Volo Volo would never if you would just listen I can explain. Yeah, unfortunately, they're not interested in words. Quite enough explaining. Sure, Arabic. Oh, you know him. The very hearts and minds of these good, kind, gentle citizens with your lies, your delusions. Are you an absolutist? Your conspiracies. Though you hide behind a mask of stories we have seen beyond the veil, we see what you really are. Fearmonger. Hmm. What was he saying? Hear, hear. Attention seeker. Well. Hear, hear. Agent of chaos. Oh no, not that. The parasite stirs in recognition. Oh. This man is infected. Rack the hells follow! Today, citizens, we rid ourselves of this cankerous sore. Today, we burn away all falsehoods. Today, we will be I kind of like Volo, no though. For today, we rise in truth. Don't just stand there. Help me, God damn it! Help me! Um, I really think we ought to step in here. Yeah. This crime, this punishment is surely an overcorrection. I have to agree. Bolo's well, pretty cool. Um. Bolo has done no harm. You, on the other hand, serve the absolute. Ooh. What crime is this man guilty of? If he is guilty, where's the evidence? Where's the trial? This isn't justice. This is mob madness. Speaks 
and speaks of evidence. Yeah. And trials and justice. You can say it that way if you and want. In so Doesn't. Doing, they delay their very own salvation. You can say however you want. It doesn't make it crazy. Dear friend, rest assured you will have your justice. But I'm afraid the time for trials has passed. Now is the time for judgment. No. What's he doing? No. No, please. No. Shit. Uh, how long has he got? I'm legitimately not sure. Do I have water I could throw on it? Do you have water? I do. Okay, good. You want to... Throwing is not a bonus action, is it? Okay, good. Yeah, get on over here. Go ahead and throw your water. No, 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 just right there-ish. Okay, good. And no longer burning, right? Good. I guess we had until this cart burned. All right, you. Immolate yourself, of course. <gasps> oh. Now yeah, there's a fun thought. You're immune. <laughs> You're immune to fire damage. Where'd the other guy go? Ah, there he is. Dark Dirtwood. Churg Elvet. Bully Gal. Uh, Bahrain. Imprudence. Ruffian Ormo and Nobster. Don't shoot him, whatever you do. Bolo is... Uh... Why don't you warp over here? Distract them. Survival is all that matters. Can I? Not enough movement. Um, you do have. Actually, you know what? Speed. How many do we have? Ten. Do it. Shouldn't take that many rounds. These boots have seen everything. Okay. It's you who has the crossbow. Let me disarm you. Disarm you. Disarm you. You actually hit me, wow. Or maybe it was the ability that no matter what, you get a damage. Disarm you. Damn it. Um. No bonus actions? Oh, I already drank. Okay. Give me a ranged disarm. Where is it? Why not tell me? Damn it. There is trip disarm range. Good enough. Damn it, you saved. There we go. 
and hit this one. That's all of it. All right. Yeah, attack me. Are you attacking Gale? only affect enemies no strength save good we're trying to save and get on over here try or of murder cheese all right shadow heart what do you got for me um flame strike right there for me nice good job Maybe get over here. Be ready to help out. Okay. Arcane battery. Give me chain lightning. Okay, good. It only affects enemies. <laughs> so good. Ow. Nice. You're still good. Oh, that thought. Oh, wait. Not what I wanted to do. I thought I was using Lathrana. Sometimes the only way out is through. Okay, let's try that again. Another with uh, with Lathrana this time. Watch out for the fire there, lady. Don't walk into it. I would feel bad. Oh, I got caught in the uh, wind. Hey there, buddy. So, I can hear... Oh, they do have at least one steel watcher. So surprised they don't have more here. So much for the, um... Excuse me. A little help if you don't mind. I'm trying. What do you need me to do? Destroy the chair? Get me out of here. There you go. Help. Help me. Please. I can't this. feel my legs. Where are you going? Very funny. Yeah, how are you going, Bolo? There's something up. Okay. I kind of surprised you walked away without saying thank you, but all right. Yes, yes. I will. Give me a second. I have loot. Eh. Yeah, of course, they don't have anything very valuable on them. All right. It's like all the corpses. Good. All right, Volo. 
need to find a way forward. Of course they do. The fish. The sacred gods. I really thought I was done for. No kidding. You were so lucky. Again. Why did you run away what again? An heroic story without a little risking <laughs> neck. Hey. What were you doing that got into you know they say? The attack the you? Story, the more people want to kill you for it. <laughs> <laughs> One of them was an absolutist, I'll tell you but all about it. But not here. Too many eyes, ears, and where palms about. Meet me at your camp. It'll be good to have you again. Uh, not a camp anymore, though. We have a permanent room at the oh, song. <laughs> Saving a fellow tail spinner. Ooh, wait, no. Any undead over there? Over here. Oh, is this the uh I fished these the Bitch the Queen's way. temple? Maybe? Hey, Grey Harbor. We both know you sell it for twice that to the armory once the city's under siege. Still no one dead. Maybe over there. Can I get over there? Oh, yeah, the water queen. It is the bitch queen's house. I love it. Umberly. Quarantine. Hmm. Do I hear them singing in there? I, I just adore how much of an antagonistic relationship the people who follow Umberly have with their goddess. There's Dis uh, Disby. Quartermaster, where you uh, you were a wood elf. Dead. Okay. Oh, no. What the hell happened here? Sea plague. Um. Disadvantage on checks, saving throws, and attack rolls using... Fine. No one else come here. A lustrous lass. When the fist man said he wanted me to check out a lustrous lass, I didn't realize that was the ship was a ship's name and almost said something regrettable. Good catching yourself, I guess. I had the same thought though. But when he said the vessel was under quarantine after drifting into harbor with a dead crew, I realized Ilmater had a task for me. The crew were dead indeed poison or pestilence. But what killed them? I found a wicker basket of rotting fruit of the kind I didn't recognize. Could that be it? There's an aura of wickedness here that belies the mere death by food poisoning. I must search more thoroughly. All of a sudden, I'm feeling tired. Very tired. Yeah. Let's have a look. I need to get healed soon. I told Jorkins. Told Jorkins. Jorkins, I said. The captain should never have dropped anchor at Crone Island. But Jorkins just laughed at me, like he always does. Now I ain't seen the captain in days. Just stays in her cabin and calls out through her door, saying she's sick, and I'm feeling mighty poorly myself. Jorkins don't look so good neither. Well, at least he stopped laughing at me. Hmm. Jorkins? No, you're the... Okay, here's the captain. rest of my life apparently wasn't very long the last few ten days since I made the deal with the gloom crone have been the happiest I've ever known oh no 
Enough gold to last the rest of your life, she promised. Oh, <laughs> should have been more specific. And every day I've hefted those heavy clanking bags and been satisfied with my lot. But I didn't want to just feel it. I wanted to see it. So last night I opened the sacks and discovered the crone's trick. Six actual gold pieces. While the rest of the coins, thousands of them, were nothing but worthless dross. I chucked them over the side in the dark. Then I suddenly felt ill. Well, who wouldn't? Oh. Wait, so... Even the ones that were worthless... They, they still counted for your... For your life? Or did you chuck the six over as well? But something is scratching and making noise in my baggage. Something bigger than a rat. I'm afraid to see what it is. Hmm. Ah! What the hell was it? Cursed Imp. Wow, level 12 Imp. Ugh, threefold reflection. A reminder. Yikes. Okay, this is dangerous. To say the least. You should be immune to disease, right? ship is enough. Blind if you can. Ugh, yikes. Yeah, that hurts. Nice. Way I wither it. Counterspell. Rana, attack. Um, heal. Attack. Uh, fourteen. Okay, you can finish it off safely. My wounds are too much to bear. Yikes! That thing is deadly. Oh, hey, it's stealing. nothing on it. Oh, there was some decent enough treasure here. Oh, there's Jorkins. My own deal. A ridiculous old D Disby and his portents of doom. This time, maybe he's right. Though everything would be fine if Harfang had made me quartermaster, as I deserve, instead of giving the position to that old coot. But she went and did it. So when we anchored at Crone Island, I slipped ashore and made my own deal. I'm a smart one, I am. Oh, what did you do, you fool? What did you do? One day I'll catch a break. Office. Well, hello. Watch the shadows. Exempt boat. What's next, I wonder? Can't go there. Oh, yeah. You have uh, any cure disease? Well, he will do the trick, but that's level six. A lesser restoration. That'll do it. What? 
Mithrana is absolute. Wait, did it run out? Mithrana, are you okay now? Is that blood? No, never mind. Starion also is okay. I guess we didn't need it. Good job, guys. Still alive, so that's progress. I will, um... Let's get on with it. Where's my mass heal? Never a dull moment. Well, unfortunately... I mean, that was interesting and all, but... No... Undead. Best be on my way. That's a problem. I guess I will have to check the blushing mermaid. It's gotta be. I do feel like I remember seeing one there, but... Oh, hey there, Genie. What are you doing over there? You, uh... Untaken Diomira Trellis. Oh. oh, wave mother, queen of the depths. Yeah. Hear me. Please carry Holly to her final rest in the deep wilds. Please. Sorry. Are you here for a wave servant Holly's funeral? Oh, it's already started out the just inside. Um, is that what the singing is for? Yes. Please, you're most welcome. We have much to be thankful for. May the Wave Mother smile on you as she did Holly. Of course. Alright, well. I don't plan on... Well. We can come back here. I do want to hit up the Blushing Mermaid after all. All right, once we determine whether the undead is here or not, we will go talk, we'll go rest up and talk to Bolo. She also might be in the elf song, maybe. So, Lumbar said the Rumbo would be somewhere near the water. Maybe he's in that locked building. Maybe. Well, regardless, we should probably rest first. All right, Volo, what do you have to say to me? It is splendid to see you again, my friend. I if know, you right? you saved me from that mob, I'd be penning a guide to the afterlife <laughs> based on first-hand experience. I'm sure it'd be fantastic. Perhaps you would hazard a guess as to why the mob turned on me? Nah, I was just thinking. First time I save you from goblins, and now a mob of angry... Well, one of them is a cultist. I don't think the others were. But Lauren the Red controls the syndicate of killers. Perhaps you've pissed her off. I assume you criticized Archduke Gortash. He controls the city now. Yeah. That'd be my initial guess. You speak out against the cult of absolute? We have eyes everywhere. <laughs> I just assumed decades of spreading lies and misinformation have caught up with you. Now, my assumption was Archduke Gortash. Pish posh. That strutting tyrant has a long reach and a steel fist, but he's a puppy dog compared to the real horror that haunts our streets. The Lord of Murder has Oh, returned. it was Orin. As he did a hundred years ago, Baal has set his accursed sights on Baldur's Gate. And his temple runs red with the blood of the innocent. Orin True. is his chosen. And like Saravok before her, she is able to take on the savage form of the Slayer. Oh, the Slayer no. The is not stopped. It will slaughter every living thing in this city. As one of those things, I'm particularly eager to stop it. And there is a way. <laughs> yeah, me too. I 
have a study of the beast penned by the wizard Irenicus himself. Oh. It contains all of the knowledge needed to slay the slayer. Now I'm, I just need uh... a brave adventurer willing to face Baal's chosen and to oh, put oh, the knowledge uh, into mm. practice. First off, yikes. She can turn into the slayer. Ugh, I don't like my chances as much. No, <laughs> no wonder she doesn't fear me at all and is willing to just walk up to my face within sword range. And second, did you say Irenicus? Um, I, he's a very powerful and skilled wizard. Not sure I trust him. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was gonna face her anyways. Wonderful! I can scarcely think of anyone more suitable. It will well, serve thank you. you well. A study of the Slayer penned by John Irenicus. <laughs> it's one of a kind, so I'll do bet. try to keep it away from the inevitable bloodbath. Hmm? I'll do my best. Oh, Arenicus. I'm curious what you know about Arenicus. A genius. Exiled from his home in the elven paradise of Soldanesala when True. he attempted to seize the power of life itself, True. he instead turned his magnificent mind to murder on a grand scale. You actually do know him. That is how he came to crave the power okay. of the Baal Spall. He saw them not as living things, but as tools for his own machinations. In the end, all right, all right. took the form of the Slayer for himself. It was a Baal spawn who thwarted him. <laughs> the same that saved hey. Baldur's Gate. Actual mention of our Baal spawn. Finally. I think that's the first mention of them. That's fantastic. Also, okay, I, I was worried you didn't know about John Irenicus's true nature, but it sounds like you are well informed. I'm a bit more willing to use this resource now. What is the Slayer? What do you know about the Slayer? The Dream Eater. <laughs> it is said the children of Baal are claimed throughout their sleep, ever disturbed by visions of a life of bloodshed and terror. True. Once they have seen too much. Once these dreams drive their minds to break, they are beset by the Slayer. It right. is a beast of unspeakable violence that consumes all in its path. Extremely powerful. the soul of the one who is host to <laughs> it. Yeah. Oh. I don't need more than a book to face Ball's Chosen. Yeah, maybe I should, hmm. I don't know. Should I face, should I go talk to the uh, Diabolist? I imagine if we're gonna go on a heist for a certain devil, his house of hope. I imagine he'll have a lot of lovely stuff there for me to steal. Besides what we're after. Might help me prepare to face against Ball's Chosen. Granted, that's going to piss him off something fierce. And for all I know, he's more dangerous than Ball's Chosen. Mm. That's a tough question there. Which, I mean, we're max level. The only thing that's going to increase our power from now on is better equipment. I think Lithrana is pretty close to her maximum power now. Her gloves, I don't think she's going to get better than that. Her armor, I don't think she's going to get better than that. And her sword, I don't think she's going to get better than that. Maybe some of the other items could be improved, but... I think Gale's pretty close to his max power as well now. Shadowheart probably improve a little bit. I don't, I don't imagine the Reaper armor is going to be the best heavy armor in the game. 
Not with how early we got it. And a Starian. I mean, he got those nice legendary weapons. Not legendary. Purple weapons. Um, Pretty early, but they're, they're good. I mean, he's plenty powerful. Hmm. I need more than a book to face balls chosen. Quite so. I was rather hoping you'd gathered all the rest of the adventuring paraphernalia <laughs> well. yourself. You'll need every advantage. No kidding. Well, this is a daunting task. I should begin my preparations now. I am a living witness to Baal's defeat those hundred years ago. Really? So I know. Your battle against him is not futile. Or, wait. He can be stopped. Are you not, not a human? Those who stood against him survived. And those who did were never the same again. I wish you luck, my friend. And I hope that when I see you again, you'll be in one piece. No kidding. Uh, two or three at most. <laughs> Say. God, I love you. But wait. Are you? No, you are human. But you just said you're a living witness, right? Damn it. I can't go back and look at the conversation. To wait, which event specifically did you say? You said you were a living witness to Ball's attack on the city two or three hundred or a hundred years ago. Is this game only taking place roughly a hundred years after Saravok and John Irenicus? If so, damn. Well, anything to say about this, Karlak? Soldier? No? Ooh. I think Minsk might have fled down into the sewers. <sighs> the Undercity is perilous. But I recall Minsk making a home down there in <laughs> the old days. To plant his boot on the very bosom <laughs> of evil. Or some such. He would. I Don't love mark him. an entrance, I know. From there, we shall just have to follow our noses. I mean, him and Vaconia are my two favorite of the original two games by far. And it's really not even close. <laughs> They're just the best. But especially Minsk is something special. Alrighty, let's take a nice long rest, shall we? Okay, at least we have stuff besides booze this time. You sleep. Oh. But the wicked don't. Oh Someone no. Someone is here to disturb your rest. Get the hell away from me! Oh shit! Peace, brother. We're here to take you home. No, the you're master not. master needs all seven of us for the ceremony. Damn it. Come with us and be reborn. We'll live again. No, you won't. Damn it, I guess that's also pressing now. How did you find us? Master Kazador has known where Astarian was this entire time. He knew he would return. Mm. The right... The master needs him. He must attend. Why does what he need him? Invitation, but I'm afraid I'll have to decline. I intend to kill him, you see. We will <laughs> live again, Astarian. The scars on our backs are sealed with the cruelest power. Seven spawn, seven sigils. That's what that Door is. Number seven, the final piece of the right. He needs us all for the Black Mass. Our fates were sealed in his writing long ago. Oh, God. A promise to his favorite spawn, fulfilled in the crypt beneath his palace. Yeah, I really don't believe him. Such an... I mean, this even half of what Astarian has said is true. Free. To end centuries of slavery, you will not ruin it, Astarian. Damn it. If even half of what he said is true. Which I I fully believe him on all of it. <laughs> but yeah, Kazador's a 
special kind of cruel. I just do not believe him. Damn it. Okay, wait, are we dressed? Good. I was a little worried there. There are other people here. No, I guess they're asleep. Withers, you here? No? Let's see. Level uh, 11's plus 112. Basic resistances. We should be able to overcome these. All of us. Void necrotic, though. Ooh, sunlight, though. Yeah, if it isn't in... Uh, now, this is a good time to test whether daylight counts for sunlight hypersensitivity. Also, uh, was it Sunbeam? Hmm. Same deal. Same deal. If we kill them... Well, no, they should return to their caskets. We don't have stakes. But now I was going to say, if we kill them, then... That basically puts a stop to his... Ritual. I get why they are so desperate for him to be telling the truth, but... He just... I don't believe he is, not for a second. Starring, can you... Out of movement. Do you have a speed potion? You do. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, wait. Yeah, uh, another attack. Beautiful. Um, I don't think I'd be able to make it there. Even with speed potions. I'm, instead, I'm gonna... Damn it, I don't have my Misty Step yet. Oh, casting spells is blocked. By what? Oh, I'm in... Damn it. Need to find a way forward. There we go. Um. Okay. This is a short rest too, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't use our potions now. But. Let's go ahead and... Do you guys have weapons? No, you don't. Get use in. Okay, don't use any of that up. Um, I should wait for action search until I'm hasted. Yeah, miss. How about a repost? Um, 5 to 11. I get one shield per short rest, is it? I forget, actually. It is... I mean, it doesn't really say... Okay, yeah, short rest. Gale, do you have daylight, or was that in the uh, Shadow Heart's hands? Dance Macabre, create four ghouls to fight alongside you. Oh, nice. Shoot, is that what you got from the Tome of Thay? Not sure what this does. Okay, 
Flame of Wrath. Embrace Koreska's Flame to gain resistance to fire damage. In addition, your fire spells deal an additional fire damage equal to your proficiency bonus. Ooh. Okay. While attuned to Koreska's Flame, you can cast Fireball and Wall of Fire. What, freely? Certainly not without a spell slot. I must be even if it's not prepared. Cone of cold and ice storm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry, that's that's good and all. But I just <laughs> they're in a line. Come on, I can't not. Try not to break anything. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, wait. Oh, no, yeah. All right. No, you don't. Stay where you are. Damn it. Good job. You should have daylight. It's a second level. Might be third. Yeah, it's third level. Damn it. Can't test it out here. Well, Moonbeam should still be good. Right. Can I not get all three? Come on. Almost. Damn it. Guess not. Well, I'll get these two. Now you're burning. The light of the moon. Got to press on. Shall we finish you? Damn, we don't have an advantage. Uh, Lathrana. comes easy these days. First off, get over here. Ow! Sorry. Shadowheart. Oh, hell yeah. Damn it. Also... Use that. He's gone. Oh, uh, Shadow, uh, Starion. There she goes. Good. Never a dull moment. Excellent. And. Shoot him. Should be able to finish him off right now. Or maybe not. The dance macabre. I don't fancy their chances. Um You don't have uh no, you don't have any. I kind of want to try out telekinesis here. Yeah. Toss him. I don't know. Way over here. Shall be done. What the fuck? <laughs> Did it do any damage? One bludgeoning. Okay. Need to be a little more creative in order to get it to hurt people, but still fun. Step to it. Take that asshole. You want the honor, Sistarian? 
Hold on. You want the honors, the starion? This. Break them. This needs to end. One way or another. They I mentioned agree. my scars and are right. I need to get to that crypt and find out what these damn markings are really for. I agree. I haven't thought about those markings in a while. Raphael never actually told us. He said he could, but I think he said he could. I think. I think this is it. Oh well, he's a devil. I need to keep sharp. All right, let's. Very well. Let's finish going to bed. <sighs> oh man. Put everything back. Yeah, counted as a short rest. Glad that didn't interrupt too much. All right, warding bond, good. No rest for the wicked, I see. Nope. Mage armor. Good. I'm forgetting. Let's conjure up a fire elemental. Wait, no. Fire Myrmidon. There we go. Can't afford to stay idle. Shadow Heart. The genie was interesting. Shall we try? Actually, if we're going to go up against vampires, all of a sudden the Deva seems extremely valuable. Again. Also, the flying is appreciated. I think the genie could fly, but apparently not. Of course, the Deva can't warp. Those vampire spawn came for a starion, didn't they? Yes, they did. Lucky for him that we were here to fight them off. No kidding. They probably would have taken him otherwise. He's strong, but uh, numbers are dangerous. Anything to say, Will? Vampire spawn. One's proven enough, let alone a horde of them. Yeah. And... I doubt he's just limited to the seven that they mentioned, including, well, six minus Starion. They're just the strongest of the bunch. Vampire spawn assailing us in the night. I thought we had ample troubles as it was. At least a Starion is safe. Yeah. No kidding. I. This has definitely moved up Kazador to near the top of our list of things we need to do. Kazador is keen to greet his wayward son once more. With open arms. Or iron shackles. Seriously, he is... He, he might be... I mean, we haven't met him, but... Just based off of everything we've seen with the Starion... He might be the actual cruelest person in this game. Just maybe. Like, I guess you could argue Orin, but even her, like, she causes a lot of pain and suffering, but I don't know, there's a sadism in Casador, it seems, that's hard to beat. Anything to say about the vampires? Whatever happens next. Be sure that I will document it all as accurately as possible. Well, maybe you can embellish it a little bit. Wait, you have wares? Damn. Why do you not have a better attitude towards me, Volo? Are we not friends? <laughs> Ooh, well, actually, I will take those. I'll have a star into it, though. Whispering promise. Hmm. Hmm. 
So it basically gives less to whoever you heal. I thought I had someone with Sunbeam, but maybe I didn't put it in... Maybe I didn't prepare it. That was the other one I wanted to try out. I have to imagine with a name like Sunbeam that counts as Daylight. Probably. I mean, well, it's Radiant, so... It should at least have the effect of preventing their healing. Ooh. I think I already have one of those, but... The Sorters of the Nerves and... My, the treatise. <laughs> For the attention of Volothamp Gadarm. You're selling me your correspondence? Color me surprised. <laughs> your guide to spirits and specters. Did you already give me the book? Let's talk to everyone else first. I dare Kazador to send more lackeys our way. This is our territory. Hell yeah. I'll anyone who tries to come into my house hmm. and hurt my people. God, I love you, Karlak. That is exactly right. How fucking dare they. Not the kind of excitement I usually enjoy being woken up for. Still, better than not waking up at all. Or waking up as something else in time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely better than those two. How about you, Astarian? Well, hello. What can I do for you? Uh, you you have nothing to say. I guess you got it out of your system when we uh, talked after the fight. All right. Grab the correspondence off him as well. And these to Rana. All right, Bolo's Guide. This appears to be the barely legible notes of a work heavily in progress. And he just sold it to me. Ghost, Banshee, Poltergeist, Spooky. <laughs> One mugful ice, half mugful of distilled potato spirits, three thimbles, citrus juice, garnish with mint. What in the world is this, Bolo? I, I don't even. All right, just uh, treat us on disorders. There came to me a woman, whom I shall henceforth call R, greatly distraught at the unusual tempers of her husband, whom I shall henceforth call B. Fair enough. Three months prior, he'd suffered night sweats, crying out from sleep that he bore the mark of chaos. Two months prior, he'd taken to calling himself by the name Sarabuck. Oh. One month ago, He'd speak of little else but the throne for which he is destined. I tended to be at the couple's farmhouse. He sat calmly at the table, an unknown book clutched to his chest. I detected no curse nor loathsome spirit upon him, nor the presence of magic. Yet upon shining the light of candle flame upon him, he raised the book high and exclaimed, The deaths they bring shall awaken the father, and through them he will rise. Yeah, that is how it would have started, isn't it? I snatched the book from his hand and flung it into the hearth, where it burned not in red or yellow flame, but pure black. It left, not a, it left but a single scrap, reading, He foresaw his coming death and seated his essence across the land. Oh, it's that book. I don't remember the title of it, but I think I know which one he's talking about. Uh, they're talking about. B shivered and sighed, as if waking from nightmare. He had no memory of the book, nor the words he had spoken. Diagnosis? Unspecified neurotic enthrallment. Treatment? Herbal tincture of garlic and drace. Sipped thrice daily until exhaustion lifts. Yeah, no, that is far worse than an ordinary... An ordinary disorder of the nerves and mind. All right, Volothamp. Master Volo, I've been a great fan of your work for many years, most notably your theories on the ball spawn in Slayer form. In fact, 
I've recently unearthed some information that I believe you will find most fascinating. Let us meet at the docks and confer. Oh, this is what happened. One scholar to another. Trust me, you do not want to miss this. <laughs> and he walked right into it. Hook, line, and sinker. Damn. Sorry, Bolo. Right, we have regarding the Slayer. Even though this child of Baal has thus far been squandering their, uh, the gift of their unholy blood, it seems that Baal's lash is inescapable. The graven god has now besieged them with the slayer, the beast and prophet. And when they turn, their mind is broken, more broken than all my torments could ever rend it to. I spent all this... W I think they're talking about our Baal spawn. I spent all this while testing the captive spawn with, yeah, with my experiments, trying to extract more Baal's gifts from them, but they have brought the Slayer upon themselves. It seems that it manifests in moments of pure hatred, a divine hatred those of mortal blood cannot fathom. When the child of Baal hates, it, hates in a way that pleases their lord, Baal himself descends upon them as his own avatar. Despite all the ball spawn of candle keep, has, oh, despite all the ball spawn of candle keep has done to prevent Saravok's uprising, it seems Father must love them dearly, that dearly indeed to intervene personally on their behalf. Perhaps if I continue my routine of absorbing all of the divine essence I extracted while the spawn was my captive, I can force Ball's magics to quicken in my own blood trick the fool god into thinking I am one of his own children. Thus may I tame the beast for myself. It was quite the plan, honestly. I mean, they did succeed... Uh, Saravok... Or, Sar Irenicus did succeed in stealing my soul. Or I guess their soul, not Lathrana's. Albeit for a temporary time. The book then continues with a detailed detailed record of Irenicus's experimental attempts to transform into the Slayer. Not sure how much that actually benefits me, though. Oh, well. Now I am in a pickle. I, I desperately want to find Minsk. But... We have... Orin who is apparently able to turn into the Slayer. I think she'll keep, but she also has her poor little child in her clutches. I don't want to leave her there any longer than I have to. But if I go down there without killing <laughs> Gortash first, she might harm the child. And then, but I can't go after Gortash without destroying the Steel Watch Foundry. <laughs> And to make matters worse. Oh, and let's not forget that I might want to, you know, pull an Ocean's Eleven run on Raphael's House of Hope to prepare for fighting the Slayer. That's a whole other thing. But then to make matters worse, Cazador is closing in on Astarian. We have so many priorities. I don't even know what we can do. I do think we'll end up going for Gortash first. It's too risky to... Orin is too insane. I can't risk the child. Which means we'll need to take out that Steel Watch Foundry. Sooner rather than later. Oh, and of course Gale has a meeting with his god. His goddess. I think Cazador has to come first. For Astarian's sake. We can't risk him sending more vampire spawn. In even greater numbers. And they can keep coming and coming. Night after night. Unless we can find them in their caskets and stake them. 